Hey everyone, this is Jay with The More You Mow, coming at you with a product review. I've never used this product before, but I saw that it was on sale at my local Menards for about 10 bucks a bag, so I figured I'd give it a shot. So this product is used to control bugs that can be in your lawn as far as ants, ticks, grubs, fleas, or spiders. Uh, they have a very long list on the back that shows the, the insects that are controlled and the insects that are killed. One bag can, can control up to 16,500 square feet, but as far as I'm looking at it, I don't think that the full 16,500 square feet will be controlled for the season long six months as stated on the bag. So we'll have to look a little bit deeper and see exactly how much grub and uh, insect control we can get out of one bag. The main active ingredient inside the bag is biphenethrin, which is at a point zero 0.20% which is a very good um, topical spray to use for your lawn to control insects. So looking at the back of the bag it'll tell you the application rates. The application rates for just for control if you have preventative issues that you want to take care of the recommended rate is 1.2 pounds over a thousand square feet. Now I have a 8,000 square foot property so that would put me at approximately 9.6 pounds per application for my yard. What I'm currently looking at is trying to control bugs that are currently there and prevent for three to six months as per bag rating, which puts me at 2.3 pounds of product for every thousand square feet. So for every 2.3 pounds of square feet, So for my 8,000 square foot yard, I'm going to be putting down 2.3 pounds per thousand, <clears throat> which gets me to approximately 18.4 pounds. So I'm going to need about two bags to cover my 8,000 square feet. So I'm going more at the curative rate as opposed to the preventative rate. Depending on the type of spreader you have, there's different ways to apply and set your spreader settings. So for the spreaders that they have listed on the back, they show you a Scott's Drop Spreader, a Scott's Edge Guard, and an Elite Spreader, which are all Scott's products. Uh, personally, I have a Echo RB60, and I pretty much mimic the same application rates as the Scott's Deluxe Spreader or one of the Edge Guard Rotary Spreaders. So once you apply your granular, what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to water it in. Um, they don't necessarily specify how much water to water it in with, but I'm going to recommend going with about uh, a half inch of water if possible. Once you go and apply and you water it in, it is now safe for pets to go onto the grass. So if you have pets or little kids, make sure that you water in thoroughly the product before you let them go play and enjoy the yard. So I've never used this product before. I'm going to give it a shot. I've used different brands before from Scott's as well as some big box store brands as well. I also have the liquid form of Bifin in my uh, collection of products to use, but I figured I'd give this granular a shot and see how it takes care of the uh, bug problem that we could potentially have. Now I didn't see any damage yet in my grass, but we're getting into June and I figure this would probably be a very good preventative step to take in order to make sure that my grass stays healthy all year. So the current temperatures now in Wichita are right, hovering right around 100 degrees, so I'm going to wait until this evening to go do an application. So as soon as I decide to go out there and make an application, I'll be sure to videotape it and show you guys the spreader settings that I have for my Echo Edge Guard, as well as what the granules look like. So of course if you have any further questions or you need any more clarification as opposed to what's on the bag, feel free to leave me a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you for uh, tuning in, and I will catch you guys later. Thanks.